Hello and welcome to Walk the Talk. I am Shekhar Gupta and I am not standing at an Air Force base or an Army helicopter base. And the reason I am in the middle of all these very mean looking machines is because I am in the place that is making all of them and giving them to Indian Armed Forces, the complex of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. And my guests today, Hello. Mr. Yes. Suvarna Raju, Chairman and Managing Director and a lifelong HAL employee. Hell, 36 years. And Wing Commander Unni Pillay, uh, also a hall man, but also an Air Force man at HAL. And test pilot, chief test pilot for these helicopters. Yes. So, sir, uh, I, why do people tell me uh, that this is uh, a turnaround period in the history of HAL? And this is what the Air Force is telling me, not you. And I know that customer and uh, and uh, manufacturer always have a strained relationship. Shekhar, uh, HL has been uh, with Air Force for the last seven decades. And in fact, we completed our uh, Platinum Jubilee celebration, right. 75 years. And if you look at it, HL has put in about more than 4,000 helicopters and uh, aeroplanes into the defense services. So our relations are fine. And at, at times, maybe uh, the gap could be there on the understanding of what we are talking and then what is the customer requirement. But however, nevertheless, we are behind the force. So uh, if you heard that uh, there are certain requirements which need to be met by them, maybe we are at, at to catch up to the requirements on right. Air Force. I think this train came in the MiG period, uh, when there was a crisis with the MiGs, MiG-21s. But sure enough, the uh, part supply and support services are always uh, right. The dependency is on the, the foreign OEMs when the support is uh, not as expected by the customer. OEM then we are is definitely overseas equipment manufacturer. Uh, original equipment yeah, manufacturer. Right. So the dependency and the supply of short supply of the space and the support would uh, really bridge or create the gap between the customer and us. So the other difference is that I think in the past, uh, and that's the criticism that someone like me has also had, uh, writing on uh, defense forces, uh, that HAL has only assembled. So what's the point of making 4,000 aircraft if you cannot design your own aircraft? So now you are changing that. These are your own designs? Absolutely. That is the reason, Shekhar, that I want to be here and see all these machines. All, all these machines. All these machines have been uh, manufactured by H, designed, manufactured and being supported. Uh, and uh, what is this one? This is, this is the light combat helicopter. Maybe you would look at this uh, light, advanced uh, light helicopter. Uh, that's Dhruv. Drove, which right. is uh, entirely designed, manufactured and delivered to the customer. And we make India to be proud, one among the six nations in the world to have the capability of uh, uh, designing, manufacturing and maintaining them. More than 200 uh, helicopters are there in operation. And if you look at the Rudra, this is a weaponized version. So this, of, this, uh, this is a weaponized version of the same platform. Uh, advanced light helicopter could be used for various purposes. It could be utility version or a weaponized version. Weaponized version is this is the Dhruv uh, Rudra with 70 mm rocket pods on uh, either side or uh, air to air missile There's or a machine gun in front. missile and a turret gun here where with a helmet pointed system the pilot can look lock and short so 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 the, uh, the the gun turns with the pilot's eyesight yes so and uh, not only this now if you're looking at hl we have a uh, 15 designs of our own uh, 15 platforms have been indigenously designed and developed and manufactured currently if you look at the population of the helicopters and aeroplanes which are there with the indian armed services 80 percent of them are manufactured and being supported by hl so what's the difference between this and that Oh, this is a uh, combat helicopter, new which has uh, yeah new one is yet to uh, we prove the uh, airframe capabilities. Now we are weaponizing depending on the customer. And I think you used it uh, in, the in the iron, iron fist, fist yeah. and uh, it fired its uh, demonstrated its firepower through firing the rockets. We did right. well. And this is a tandem seat here. It is exclusively for combat purpose. Right. Whereas Rudra can be used for multi-role purpose. Right. Either in, you can. Including armed casualty evacuation. Armed casualty evacuation and uh, use for the arming up of uh, this thing. And also transportation, surveillance, and many right. uses can be done. And This is the, also one of your new ones. Oh, these are the 
technology demonstrators, we right. as we are developing it, now if you see this fuselage to this fuselage, right. this is a TD4 which, which is compressed. So right. to get a better aerodynamic efficiencies on the, uh, the fuselage, we did that. And you see the squarish uh, shapes rather than the round uh, corners onto it is for the stealth. So in a war, you, you don't want to be identified by the enemy radars. Right. So this is the design technology. So to tell you that aircraft HL is only assembled, no, HL has its own design and uh, the helicopters. Now the third one I would show you is the light utility helicopter, which right. has uh, a three ton category and uh, possibly as a replacement to that kind of a helicopter, Chita Chetak, which Chita are Chita there with yeah. us. Yes. And uh, that is another modification we did on this aircraft for a high altitude operational requirement. And uh, Vinkumar Pillay, uh, these helicopters can do high altitude also, I believe. Exactly. These are the only ones in the world today which can operate in our glacier area. So are thereby, they, are like, they pressurized? No, there's no pressurization in helicopters because the pilot or the crew would, uh, the passengers would always be exposed to the outside. Right. So what, today we have weapon system which we can field against in the high altitude against our uh, neighbors. Right. Whereas they would not have anything on right, similar. Right. So, so you've flown every helicopter in Indian forces yes. inventory. Yes. Uh, where do you rate these helicopters? And forget for a moment that you are a hell loyalist. No, it is not. Just, it, just be a pilot. It is pure, it's a quantum jump over uh, the helicopters which are existing, other helicopters which are existing in the country because of its inherent design. You see, in terms of controllability, in terms of stability, in terms of performance, you can see this is the only thing which can operate at high altitudes. Right. Like, uh, so uh, you haven't given it a name yet. Uh, a light combat helicopter, yes. Yes, yeah, but but but, but you haven't given it a proper no, Indian no, name. No, not because this one is now Rudra. So that this is, is Rudra. This is this is Rudra. Rudra. And I think Rudra was uh, Mr. Vajpayee or can, Mr. Uh, Fernandez? Fernan uh, no, it is from the Indian Air Force and HL together did it. Right. Unlike the Tejas where Mr. Vajpayee, Vajpayee gave, gave the name. name. Yes. That's the one which is going as Sarang helicopter, which does uh -huh. the aerobatics of... Uh, right, of the... Uh, of the uh, Air Force, Air Force uh, uh, aerobatic team. Those are that, the, that's a Dhruva, uh, Dhruva yeah, platform. Yeah, it's a Mark One. But the very initial things, which uh, the first model of it, the Mark right. One uh, Dhruv is that. And uh, here, the time we come up to this uh, Rudra, it would be Mark Three, Mark Four. is a glass cockpit uh, and uh, a lot of other uh, facilities like chaff and flare. Uh, for uh, for deflecting missiles, deflecting the missiles. and uh, yeah, all so this. So how would you compare this with? I think the, the only really frontline uh, attack helicopter we have right now is Mi-25, the, the Air Force Correct. has, uh, Russian. So how would you compare this with that? This has got all the latest weapons and sensors. If you see, we have uh, sensors to uh, for vision. We can see by day and night. It's got an infrared. We have got all the sensors in like radar warning uh, on top. Uh, right. Uh, sensor, missile approach warning sensor, laser, uh -huh. if somebody is lasing you to fire a weapon on you, we can sense it, pilot is, uh, with a tone he can uh, uh, figure uh, it out. Yes. And uh, automatically you can launch decoys, you can flare and sharp, oh, you can see those square uh, tones. Uh, these, these ones, yeah. these, these are for decoys and Yes, sharp. yes, you can, you can configure them to fire automatically also. Right. So, it's by itself it is well protected. It has all the weapons which are needed to uh, destroy a target. So who is likely to be using it, Air Force or the Army? The or, I know you're from the Air Force, <laughs> <laughs> it's an ongoing debate. Yeah, 65 which are supposed to be going to the Air Force. Air Force. And uh, Army is also in the 97. So do you people have any views on heli attack, uh, combat helicopters? Should they be with the Air Force? Should they be with the Army? I'm not saying you are from the Air Force, you are from the Army. You are from no, for you, everybody is a customer. Both are warriors, they are fighting, so they require whatever they want in their capabilities to demonstrate onto it. And it it's working well for both of them. So when do we see uh, the first squadron of this? Because that's flying now with the Air Force. That, that, that is uh, operational. 2000, maybe uh, 7, 18, uh, there should be a squadron of uh, limited series uh, on this thing. On yeah, this one. Yeah. Because this looks like a really mean... Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, it, it, this looks like a first genuine Indian... Uh, Assault helicopter. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And then it really does its job. So we now move on to your other prestigious product. Definitely. Tejas. So we have a change of scene, sir. Uh, change of platform. Uh, change of profile, as you say, in Defence Forces. And a change of personnel, horses for courses. So 
place of our chief helicopter test pilot. Now we have Air Commodore Muthana, chief of fixed wing flying uh, for all of HAL. Yes. Isn't it? Uh, so that is Tejas as well as Sukhoi's, anything, anything else that you make. And, and all the transport aircraft. All the transport aircraft, aircraft also. Yeah. So wonderful to welcome you Thank on Walk the Talk. Thank you so Glad much. So, so you are a lifelong uh, customer uh, yes. of MiG-21s in yes. a way. Yes, yes. Uh, how does it feel to now father something like this? This aircraft was originally in, uh, in the 80s uh, was meant or uh, conceived to replace uh, the MiG-21. But uh, although people keep saying that it's been delayed three decades uh, or so, uh, or coming three decades later, we have managed to keep up with the technology and this aircraft even today remains contemporary. That is one uh, doubt I'd like to dispel. And as far as technology is concerned, it is contemporary technology, not MiG-21 technology, which is uh, 1950s vintage. For example, it is, uh, you know, the, it's a fly-by-wire aircraft, whereas right. the MiG-21 is purely push-pull rods, hydraulically powered, of course. And I can see, uh, sir, you're putting a, a probe here for mid-air refueling? Yes, that's a mid-air refueling probe, uh, which gives it more uh, energy in this range to do it. The structurally, we have integrated it. Now we need to do a... Or trials of yeah. uh, the so this will be the first working. model with mid air fueling. Yes, this is and the first model LSP seven limited series aircraft uh, seven number seven, which will be used for this uh, flight testing. So what is this plane to fly like? The control law is purely Indian engineering, and it is world class. Anybody who flies this aircraft, there are probably about twenty two of us, or I mean about twenty odd test pilots, and now the squadron pilots have started flying this aircraft. And everybody will vouch that she flies beautifully. And in the when we achieve the final operation clearance, she will have absolute carefree maneuvering, which fundamentally means that you cannot take this. This aircraft will not go out of control. If there is a piloting error by a young pilot, for example, if if uh, she's going yes, to I believe, I, I believe you put a, uh, a, a panic switch for a disorientation, for example. Those, those are training systems. training systems, but in case the aircraft senses that she is going beyond the, her permitted envelope, she will take over control, she will recover the aircraft and hand it back to the pilot. Now you say this as an Air Force man or do you say this as, a, as an HAL man? No, uh, I, as, as far as I am concerned, I am a test pilot uh, with my sole aim of enabling the warfighters of this country. And, and, it makes no difference. And you have no particular affection for one type. You've done many. No. As I said, I am uh, the Sukhoi is my baby. She is also my baby. <laughs> so how do you say Sukhoi is your baby? Sukhoi I say because I was uh, the, one of the project pilots for when the Sukhoi MKA was being developed. And I was with, uh, worked with the Sukhoi Design Bureau in Moscow for about three years. And it was during my uh, tenure along with my team over there uh, when the uh, present lot of aircraft started coming in. Otherwise, we had the Sukhoi 30K. Right. We converted it into a totally different uh, platform. platform in terms of capability. In fact, Sukhoi now is like a mini aircraft carrier. Yes. It carries so much of uh, yes. so much of ordnance and yes. so much range. Yes. And I have no hesitation in saying that in capability, she is a Tejas is a mini Sukhoi. Mini Sukhoi. Yes. Yeah, I see. Mini Sukhoi or mini Mirage. <laughs> Two thousand. As you said, you know, probably the. <laughs> Fundamentally, Russian pilots would like to say it's a mini Sukhoi. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that so? <laughs> pilots who come from a Russian uh, fighter degree love love the Russian uh, uh, this thing, and they don't the take Mirage 2000 so seriously. It's too soft for them. <laughs>